This article incorporates information from the equivalent article on the German Wikipedia. Panzergrenadier is a German term for motorized or mechanized infantry, that is, infantry transported in combat vehicles specialized for such tasks, as introduced during World War II. It is used in the armies of Austria, Germany and Switzerland. However, in the German here, Panzergrenadier is also the lowest rank of enlisted men in the Panzergrenadier Trupper, comparable to NATO or 1. See also, Forerunners. The term Panzergrenadier was not adopted until 1942. Infantry and Panzer divisions from 1937 onwards were known as Schutzen regiments. They wore the same rose ping piping on their uniforms as the tank, crews. Soldiers in special motorized infantry units wore the standard white piping of the infantry. In 1942, when infantry regiments were renamed as Grenadier Regiments by Hitler as a historical homage to Frederick the Great's army, the Schutzen regiments began to be redesignated as Panzer Grenadier Regiments, as did motorized infantry units and soldiers. Their Waffenfarbe was also changed from either white or rose pink to a meadow green shade previously worn by motorcycle troops. Some units did not change over their designations and or Waffenfarbe accoutrements until 1943, and many veteran shuts and ignored regulations and kept their rose pink until the end of the war. See also World War II usage. The term Panzer Grenadier had been introduced in 1942, and was applied equally to the infantry component of Panzer Divisions as well as the new divisions known as Panzer Grenadier Divisions. Most of the here's PZ Gren divisions evolved via upgrades from ordinary infantry divisions, first to motorized infantry divisions and then to PZ Gren divisions, retaining their numerical designation within the series for infantry divisions throughout the process. This included the 3rd, 10th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 18th, 20th, 25th and 29th divisions. Others, such as the Gross Deutschland Division, were built up over the course of the war by repeatedly augmenting the size of an elite regiment or battalion. The Waffen SS also created several PZ Gren divisions by the same methods, or by creating new divisions from scratch later in the war. A number of PZ Gren divisions in both the Heer and Waffen SS were upgraded to Panzer divisions as the war progressed. The Panzer Grenadier divisions were organized as combined arms formations, usually with six battalions of truck mounted infantry organized into either two or three regiments, a battalion of tanks, and an ordinary division's complement of artillery, reconnaissance units, combat engineers, anti tank and anti aircraft artillery, and so forth. All these support elements would also be mechanized in a PZ Gren division, though most of the artillery, anti-tank, and anti-aircraft elements were equipped with weapons towed by trucks rather than the relatively rare armored and self-propelled models. In practice the PZ Gren divisions were often equipped with heavy assault guns rather than tanks, due to a chronic shortage of tanks throughout the German armed forces. A few elite units, on the other hand, might have the tanks plus a battalion of heavy assault guns for their anti-tank element, and armored carriers for some of their infantry battalions as well. On paper a Panzer Grenadier division had one tank battalion less than a Panzer division, but two more infantry battalions, and thus was almost as strong as a Panzer division, especially on the defensive, of 226 Panzer Grenadier battalions in the whole of the German army, Luftwaffe and Waffen SS in September 1943. Only 26 were equipped with armored half-tracks, or just over 11%. The rest were equipped with trucks. Ref. Panzer Grenadier Divisions 1939-45 by Chris Bishop. Equipment The use of armored half-tracks was rare in the German army and even the elite Gross Deutschland Division. With two Panzer Grenadier regiments, only mustered a few companies worth of the vehicles, generally SDKFZ 251 troop carriers. 
The vast majority of Schutzen Panzer Grenadier soldiers were mounted in trucks. Additionally, vehicles in the early war period suffered from poor off-road performance. In 1944 a couple of Panzer divisions based in France had more than the standard one battalion mounted in SDKFZ 251 troop carriers. Panzerlehr's infantry and engineers were entirely mounted in SDKFZ 251 troop carriers, while the 1st Battalion in both Panzer Grenadier regiments in 2, Panzer Division and 21, Panzer Division were half-equipped with armoured half-tracks light armoured personnel carriers for 21, Panzer, Bundeswehr. History Since the Bundeswehr, the new West German military, was to be employed solely in Europe under NATO command. German Ministry of Defense Studies advocated that all 12 of the new army's divisions should be armored. N No. 23 This proposal derived in large measure from the German experience fighting the Red Army only a decade before. The concern of German military leaders still centered on countering a massive Soviet tank assault. N No. 24 However, NATO's U.S. Representatives believed that the all-armored plan would be difficult to support logistically, and a compromise balanced solution of six armored and six motorized infantry divisions emerged. With regard to German rearmament, the U.S. Joint Chiefs JSPC 956 63 the 4th of October 1954 recommended retaining the force objective of the EDC European Defence Community proposal, which foresaw eight infantry and four armoured divisions. The JCS supported a German proposal to mechanise two of the infantry divisions. This was thought suitable in view of the probable tactical employment of the German army N No. 133 as early as February 1956. German generals suggested that NATO divisions should have a more flexible command structure. German general officers assessed initial Bundeswehr divisions as too heavy and they were concerned about the complexity of the command structure in a potential atomic war. German army leaders thus introduced a new divisional organization for 1959. N number 88, the new division was built upon three self-contained tactical headquarters. Simultaneously, battalions were reduced in size to improve mobility and command and control. To compensate, infantry divisions received 12 rather than 9 maneuver battalions. But there was also a fundamental shift in operational and structural thinking. In the old system, the division had been the essential combined arms tactical unit. After the reorganization of 1958 and 1959, Brigades of several maneuver battalions were to be the new self-contained combat formations capable of independent action. N No. 89 They were loosely attached to divisional headquarters, which functioned primarily as administrative units. N No. 90 Brigades could disperse more widely on the battlefield than regimental combat teams which reduced vulnerability to atomic weapons while maintaining the combat power of the traditional division, N No. 91. Moreover, all infantry units were converted to armored infantry, Panzer Grenadier Trupper, note. All infantry battalions assigned to all Bundeswehr armored divisions were already mechanized as armored infantry. Missions and concepts in the German army, Panzer Grenadier are act as mechanized infantry and escort of armored vehicles and tanks. According to the German Central Army Regulation HDV 100 the Panzer Grenadier Trupper and their cooperation with other armored troops is characterized as following. According to the HDV 231 100, the fighting of a Panzer Grenadier battalion is characterized by the following aspects. The fighting of the battalion is characterized by the combination of fire and movement, attacking in conjunction with main battle tanks, swift changes between mounted and dismounted combat, close cooperation between mounted and dismounted forces, the particularly mobile combat, 
Bundeswehr Panzergrenadier units after the newest phase of the transformation process German Army will be fielding the following active Panzergrenadier battalions. Panzergrenadier Bataillon 33, Neustadt im Rubenberger, Panzergrenadierle Bataillon 92, Munster, Panzergrenadier Bataillon 112, Regen, Panzergrenadier Bataillon 122, Obervigtach, Panzergrenadier Bataillon 212, Augustdorf, Panzergrenadier Bataillon 371, Marienburg, Panzergrenadier Bataillon 391, Bad Salzungen, Panzergrenadier Bataillon 401, Hagenau, Panzergrenadier Bataillon 411, Wieck. Additionally, in 2008 two inactive Panzergrenadier Battalions were formed, Panzergrenadier Bataillon 908, Wieck, Panzergrenadier Bataillon 909, Marienburg. Training and development of the Panzer Grenadier Trupper is usually performed by the Armoured Corps Training Center in Munster, its commander holding the title of General der Panzertruppen. Some essential training courses, especially for urban warfare and fighting in forested terrain, are held at the Infanterie Schule at Hamelberg. Operators Austria The two existing Panzergrenadier battalions of the Austrian Bundeswehr used the Irulan armoured fighting vehicle. Germany until 2014 The main infantry fighting vehicle of the German Panzergrenadiers was the Marder IFV. It began to be replaced by the Puma IFV beginning in 2010. The G36 assault rifle is the standard weapon of German infantrymen and also used by Panzergrenadier units. To fight armoured vehicles or other hard targets the Panzer Forst III rocket-propelled grenade and the Milan anti-tank guided missile are in use. The Milan ATGM is used by dismounted Panzer Grenadier fire teams, as well as attached to the Marder turret to provide the IFV with enhanced anti-armour capabilities. In tandem with the replacement of the Marder by the Puma, the Milan is similarly being replaced by the Spy KTGM for mounted and dismounted use. Each dismounted fire team usually also deploys a MG3 machine gun. As a part of the future soldier program, the German infantryist Der Zukunft program is also intended to be introduced into Panzer Grenadier units and is already deployed with German soldiers. In Afghanistan, Switzerland in 2000, the Swiss Army purchased 186 CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles from Hagelands of Sweden. They are in use with Panzergrenadier troops.